Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I have an unboxing for you. Um, for those of you who like those and are interested in um, the yarns. Now, this is from Ice Yarns. And if you watch me for a while, um, you probably know that I was never a really big fan of Ice Yarns. I, I purchased from them only twice before. And um, both times, I really didn't like what I got. And that was because I could not navigate the site. I even, I mean, it's really hard to navigate because they have so much yarn and it's just very, very overwhelming. And I know I'm not the only one that feels like that. And I know people have videos already, how to navigate it and everything, but I just kind of gave up because it's just, it's, I just felt like if it's not easy to navigate, I'd just go somewhere else. Well, um... I feel I still feel like maybe you know I see other youtubers buying ice yarns maybe they have some good yarns so I put out a word on one of my live streams that if any of my uh, YouTube friends here buys from ice yarns and knew of any yarns that they thought I would like or some of the yarns that they like they could email me and tell me so uh, they did I got like 30 over 30 emails from different people and um, so there were some yarns that everybody had had put down like in common so I knew those you know a lot of people put down some of the same yarns so I knew those were probably pretty good so I took a I made a list uh, I went through everybody's emails I made a list of all the most common ones and that's what I bought so I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited this time I'm pretty excited because I trust you guys know what's good and what I would like so I took everybody's advice like I said I couldn't get everything that everybody said but um, I took what the most common things were and yeah that's what I got um, now I yarns like I said I still find their site extremely hard to navigate um, it's because they have an overwhelming supply of yarn different kinds of, of yarn I just could, can't really navigate it I'm not saying anything bad about their company now I am not affiliated with I yarns I bought this all myself and I do not have affiliated links to where if you buy the yarn, I'd make money. I don't care if you buy it. I just wanted to buy it again. This is my third time buying from them. And maybe this will be the charm. Is that what it is? Third time's a charm. I'm pretty excited. I think maybe I got some good yarns this time. Okay. So let's open it up. It's. I was hoping that it would come in a box. Because I, I really, really hate it when companies ship in bags. For some reason, that's a pet peeve of mine. Um especially when they're out of country because they always bust bags always bust open it came in a box came in a box now i must say though i did email them in um after i placed my order and i kindly asked them if it was okay if they could ship it please ship it in a box for me uh, you know if that was possibility and they emailed back and said sure they would ship it in a box so that's why i got it in a box if it would have came in a box otherwise i have no idea i think the other times i bought from them they came in bags but anyways in a box super excited about that not busting maybe just a little bit on one side but that's not their fault so it's nicely packed let's open it up want to now if you guys have been on ice yarns before website you know they have extremely high shipping they sell cheap yarn, but the shipping is high. Now, I'm not going to say the shipping probably does cost that. I ship a lot of, out of the country. So, um, I, you know, I'm not sure um, about the shipping. But I just know it's high shipping. It's probably correct. But um, then they sell their yarn cheap to make up for it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know really much about that. I just know they have high shipping. Okay, and I was also told that if you buy, I'm sorry, I'll hurry up, five packs at a time, that it's cheaper to buy it that way. I found that to be not true. Um, if you want to get the most out of your ice yarns order, you got to buy a lot. That makes up for the, bit, the huge shipping amount. Um, if you buy five packs at a time, I think the shipping's like 20 or $21. Um, and then I noticed that if you bought like 35 packs, the shipping's like $100. Now, $100 is more than 25 but if I would have separated 
five, 35 packs in the five separate orders, it would have been more than a hundred dollars. You get what I'm saying? So the more you buy, the less it adds to your shipping cost um, over time. So to make it worth it, I think you got to really buy a big order. That's just my observation of it. I don't shop there a lot, but you know, so I'm just saying that's what. Ooh, okay. Now, like I said, some a lot of this is what people told me to get, and then some of it is <laughs> I threw in just because it looked cool. So I don't even know if that's going to be that cool. What I got is going to be that cool. Okay, so I got this on my own. No one told me to get this. This is Ice Yarns Pure Wool Super Bulky. I like this. It is 100% Australian wool, 65 meters. Nice. Now this was the most expensive yarn that I bought. I believe it was $15.99 plus shipping for four balls. But I'm a lover of wool and I could not pass it up. I smell my yarn. I'm sorry. I just like to smell a wool. So that would feel like you would expect it to feel like wool. That would make a warm sweater. So no one told me to get this like i said this was my own choice i like it i think i made a good choice on that one if you like wool and you like bulky yarns you'll probably like this one nice it's pretty colored too yes um i'm gonna try to it's a big box yeah 15.99 for these four plus the, the shipping cost so um that was the most expensive pack I got, but wool's not always. Okay, so that one's nice. Um, this might be a longer video, so if it is, I'm sorry. But uh, now this one I got is supposed to be like Red Heart Super Saver, but better. So I'm told. So let's check and see, shall we? All right. So I had to look up. This is their Ice Yarn Saver. Um, I think it's supposed to be Red Heart, like Red Heart, and it is $4.49 and for a two-pack, plus the cost of shipping, which I'll tell you at the end how many packs I got and how much shipping was for all of it, so you can kind of, I think it's similar to, it. it's almost identical, if not the same, as Red Heart with Love, if you felt that before. That's what this feels like to me. I actually have the exact same color red of Red Heart with Love right now it looks to be almost it looks to be probably I would probably not be able to tell them apart this is just a regular um, ice yarn saver it's a hundred percent Draylon acrylic 330 meters yep I like that one too that's nice 449 for two is a good price if you buy a bunch if you just buy a pack or two the shipping will, will get you um, so for me I mean that's what I thought but that one's not bad I not bad it's like Red Heart of Love I'm, I would say it's, it's probably the same yarn <laughs> okay um, so let's see this one was popular among everybody I remember the gumball yarn and this was $6.99, and that's for all four, not a piece, all four, plus shipping, $6.99. This is Ice Yarns Gumball. They had a lot of different colors in it. I think it's 100%, uh, it's <clears throat> excuse me, a premium acrylic, 230 meters. And it is classified as a three. It's like a four. I think someone told me it was pooling yarn. Not a pooling yarn. I can't remember what they said. But anyways. It's pretty. It's a nice soft acrylic. It just seems like a nice uh, baby yarn. And um, the gumball I said was $6.99 for four. Good price. If you buy a bunch. So this one again. 
It's a nice one. Thanks everybody for telling me about that one. I'm not even going to put it back in the pack because it's kind of crinkly. Okay, and this one I had bought before and I remember liking it, but it was also really common amongst my group of people that sent me stuff. This is the Prima Ice Yarns uh, Prima Donna. It's 50 wool, 50 acrylic. Very pretty colors. It is a roving style yarn. Mm-hmm. You can smell the wool in it. It reminds me um, of a thin un Red Heart Unforgettable, but with wool in it, because Red Heart Unforgettable is not wool. I like the color a lot. Brown and those rust colors are some of my favorite colors. It's classified as a two weight, but it seems to be more like a three. Prima Donna. Um, 300 meters, that's a generous amount. So these were $9.99 for a four pack. So I made them about $2.50 each, and then you have to figure out the shipping also. That's a big factor in the insurance is shipping. So by itself, it's a good price, but we'll have to figure out the shipping. I like it. I mean, I like the colors. It's pretty. So that one's nice. Like I said, though, I had that one before, and I kind of already knew what that one was going to be like. Okay, this one was pretty popular amongst everybody. Actually, I got the most popular ones. This is their Eyesharns Mo Hair Cakes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. 20% mohair, 20% wool, 60% 60 premium acrylic. 810 meters. It says it's a number two weight, which I would agree with. So these come in a two pack. $7.99 for two. So that makes them about $4 a piece um, for that. I wouldn't know of anything offhand that this would compare to that I can think of, but as far as it having that mohair in it, but it's still pretty nonetheless. I'm not a big fan of those fine yarns like that, but if they're pretty, I can handle it. So I like this one too. It's not bad, not bad. Um, let's see. This one was not recommended by, uh, yeah, it was. It was recommended by some people, I think. This is their, yeah, it was. Eyesharns Wool Melange. 30% wool, 60% acrylic. Four weight, medium four weight, 180 meters. It is a thick four weight. Which is nice. The splat, I like the color of it. It's pretty. These are uh, all made in Turkey, I believe. So let me look and see how much this cost. Okay, so these were $8.99 for a four pack. So just a little over $2 a piece. It's nice and it feels kind of like. An acrylic wool blend smells like an acrylic wool blend it's nice it's nice it's not bad I don't know if I would buy it again not that I mean I, I like it but it's probably not I don't know what it really reminds me of here in the States I like it though I mean I like it I'm not, I don't hate it I think that would probably, I'd like to call her, I think it would probably make a pretty scarf, so I got four of those. Let's see, I was told that this was one of their best cottons by, I think, a couple people maybe. Hmm. Or it was really soft. So this is Ice Yarns Silk Cotton. Um, it is 120 meter, meters, 32 silk, 68 cotton number two weight and it's like a three probably it's soft it's not the softest cotton i've ever felt in my life though it's not bad you can tell there's silk in it believe it or not silk 
is wouldn't feel like you silk yarn doesn't feel like you think that it would feel if you think of like silk sheets it's really or satiny sheets it really isn't like that it's different it's really soft I can't say that I'm a big fan of the way it's spun I don't like that twisty spun stuff um, so this was $9.99 for a pack plus you got, remember you always have to figure in the shipping 120 meters even though this is very soft and it would probably make something very pretty I probably wouldn't buy it again because it's just uh, I don't like the way it's spun twined up like that and it's definitely not not one of the soft I mean it's a soft cotton but it's not as soft as I expected it but it's still really soft I mean I think that would make a nice drapey thing nice and drapey the color is really pretty so yeah that one's okay 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 all right um this one I had before so I already knew what this one was going to be like this is their uh, ice yarns vivid wool it reminds me a little bit of red heart unforgettable without what but with wool so and it's thicker so it's classified as a four I think it's like four or five um, 60 wool 40 acrylic 80 meters not a lot of yardage in them but there are um, eight in a pack feels like you would expect it to feel I remember getting this last time and thinking that it wasn't it was pretty it was one of the ones <clears throat> that I liked Six, did I say that 60 wool 40 acrylic yeah 80 meters 11.99 for eight of them but remember there's only 80 meters in each one and then you have to figure out the shipping it's pretty I do like it I think this is the exact same color I had last time but I gave it away in a giveaway so I never even knew but I like those type of roving yarns so I knew that I would like this because I had it before I don't let's see this was Um, popular amongst people, my YouTube friends here that told me to get yarn. This is the uh, Ice Yarns Madonna yarn. So it's uh, 40 wool, 30 mohair, 30 acrylic. Nice and soft. Not at all itchy. Yeah, I like that one. I do like that one. That's pretty. I like mohair, I like wool, and, peop and I like roving style yarns. So the people that told me might have took that in consideration when they told me what kind of yarns to get. And this could be the ones they like too. This is a pretty yarn. It is. It's classified as a lightweight three. I would agree with that. So over 300 yards, there's four in a pack. And the Madonna yarn runs $10.99 for four. probably not bad price even after figuring up shipping I would say that's not bad considering the fiber content I like that one I do I like that one that could be my favorite um, that I've opened so far nice 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 okay I'm moving on this was Angora cakes I've seen these on other sites like from other countries and stuff that I've looked at and I always wanted to try it but I never got it now this is ice yarns cakes angora I was told to try it out 20 angora 20 wool 60 acrylic 1100 meters of a light or number uh, number two weight and yes it is a number two it's very pretty it is everything that I thought it would be it's just like what I thought it would be so this is really no when I saw it on our site I kind of figured what it was gonna be like I've seen it on other uh, sites before from the UK and stuff and I always wanted to try it but I never have 
they had um some i noticed about ice yarns they have a lot of colors a lot more to choose from but some of them were sold out but uh the cakes and gora run um, 8.99 for two so 450 a piece plus shipping not a bad price comparing it to other places i've seen it i guess it's not a bad price if you buy tons i guess to make this <laughs> shipping worth it so i like that one but that is what i expected it to to, to feel like and to look like Okay, I don't think anybody told me about this one. This was this, um, I got two, uh, two different colors. I think I just saw these and I like the colors. And I took a chance on it. So, let's check it out. If anybody told me about it, I apologize. I probably missed it. This is their Ice Yarns Cakes Blues. 100% acrylic. Medium four weight. 210 meters. So... It's very pretty color. I like those colors. Feel of it is like Red Heart Super Saver uh, with love. So it's like a, so a little bit softer of acrylic yarn. Very pretty colors. There's four, no, three in a pack. And they run $5.99 for all three plus the shipping price. I don't know if it's the yardage is not i mean it's okay it's very pretty i like the color of that one i mean <clears throat> the color this one is very very pretty too these colors remind me of something that i've seen another yarn i just when i was looking at it on the site i just couldn't pinpoint it if you guys remember you can think of it but it feels like a red heart with love type of yarn to me those two three in a pack very pretty it's, the colors are pretty it's just this one i just can't pinpoint what scheme of yarn maybe it's a it might be one from hobby lobby i love this yarn maybe that i've seen it for, before it feels kind of like that too i don't know so that's got that okay so this is supposed to be was very common cakes dk this is supposed to be like mandala let's check it out from lion brand so, uh, Cakes DK, Isis Yarn, this is a version of a mandala, 540 meters, which is probably lightweight three. I'm going to say that's probably mandala with another wrap around it. Let's check it out. Okay, I had to go get a mandala to check it out. So, I would say that they are probably the same yarn. They have the same, this is the color Warlock and Mandala, and this is, um, Cakes DK, it's called Teal Purple Olive Green Copper Caramel, I guess, it's just all different colors. Now they appear to be the same yarn, um, 540 meters is probably 590 yards, same as Mandala, so these are probably the same, Mandala's made in Turkey, I notice a lot of yarns are um the same yarns just different labels now the thing that i did notice about this though even though this looks smaller it's it's the same amount of yardage um these run um cakes dk 5.99 for two cakes so three dollars a cake you know that's cheaper than mandala but if you add the shipping price on if you just bought these two i think shipping was 7.95 Plus the price of the um, cakes, it would be way ch it would just be cheaper to go to Walmart and buy a skein of mandala for six, for six dollars than it would to buy a two pack of these off of Ice Yarns for um, the exact same yarn. If you once you had to pay the shipping, but if you buy a large quantity of yarn from Ice Yarns like I did, then it probably is cheaper to buy it from Ice Yarns. But if you're just looking you know, if you're just looking like this is cheaper at Walmart if you're just buying this and this only. But if you're buying tons of stuff, might as well throw some of this in if you like mandala because it's the exact same thing. And that's the Cakes DK. And I, I, I knew by looking at the picture and the colors that they had that it was going to be the same thing as mandala. 
All right. Um, so let's see what we got next. Okay, so this is, um, I think this might have been recommended by a couple people, but I saw it and I liked it. So I thought I'm going to get that too. It wasn't, I don't think it was extremely highly recommended by everybody. Like not everybody said it, but I thought it was pretty. This is their Picasso. Ooh. 44 acrylic, 56 polyester, 115 meters, a medium weight number four. Ice Yarns Picasso. It's very pretty and it's very soft. It reminds me of like the Rockstar yarn that I used to get from Ice Yarn or Hobium, but with fuzzy uh, wool in it. It's pretty, it's soft. Oh mm, God, I got that one. I do like this one. Now these were... $6.99 for an 8-pack plus the price of shipping. That rainbow is very, very pretty. So this is super soft. It almost feels like... That's very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to mark chalk this up as one of my favorites so far. That's pretty. They had a lot of pretty colors. I had a hard... Picasso, I had a hard time choosing. This was the rainbow one. Oh, I did get it in another color, I remember, because I couldn't decide. So, eight of those. <clears throat> so that's going to go to my I like it a lot pile. And I got it in this blue, purple color. Oh, it's so pretty. That's going to make a nice shawl. That's very, very soft. Mm-hmm, not itchy. I'm happy so far with most of my ice yarns. And it's all due to you guys who helped me pick this out because there's no way I could have got this yarn, knew what to get, uh, other than a couple that I bought before. I would have been picking some weird stuff. So, very pretty. Very, very pretty. So, this is the Picasso also. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I like that one. I knew. I had a feeling that... Uh, I had a feeling I was gonna, I was gonna like this haul. I did because everybody helped me with this one. Ooh, I saw this on their site and I thought it was something that I liked, and then it was highly recommended by my followers or my fans. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I thought the balls would be a lot smaller, like these smaller balls. This is their ice yarns, Rosetta, Ro Rosetta Ro Worsted. That is some pretty yarn i can't think of any yarn offhand kind of like scarfy but very much more colorful than scarfy um let's check out the fiber content and the yardage so it's 30 wool 70 acrylic and it's classified as a medium weight number four 200 meters so this is a roving style which goes from thick to thin so it appears that it's going to go um from a four to a five that's very very pretty i really like this one so i will put this in my like it a lot pile you know all these yarns kind of smell kind of like a factory not like an unpleasant smell like kind of like a factory I, I mean i can smell the wool in some of them but they kind of smell factory to me but not not unpleasant like let's like it's gross and you can't use it there's nothing wrong with it but that's that's some pretty stuff right there i really like that one thank you for those who mentioned that some of you know me really well um so the rosetto am i saying that right it's rosetto worsted i think they had one also that was smaller and thin i mean thinner but of course i wouldn't want that so these are $8.99 for four, plus the cost of shipping. That is pretty. I'm always going to go towards the browns usually. That's a gorgeous yarn. So I'm going to put that down here in my favorite pile so far. Nice. Okay, so this I thought... <clears throat> This is their Cakes Alpaca, 25 alpaca, 25 wool, 50% premium acrylic, 310 meters, um, classified as a three-way. It is classified as a three-way. It's, it's very pretty. 
You know, it's got wool. It's got a pa alpaca. It reminds me of some that I got from Hobium. You know, I used to buy from Hobium a lot. So, some of these yarns do remind me of them. And I'm certain they had some of the same yarns. Because, you know, they were both international sellers of the country of Turkey. So, it's pretty. It's soft. Nice. I like it. The color's pretty. Um, yeah. Can't complain. I'm not going to put it in my favorite pile, but it is very, very pretty. Cakes alpaca. $9.99 for three cakes. So $3 a piece plus the price of shipping. When I get done with it all, I'll average it out and I'll tell you how much each ball cost, including my shipping. Pretty. Okay. Oh, this one. This one. I was told it's, on, it's just like Lyabrand's new yarn. So let's check it out. And I think whoever told me that is correct. I was told by a few different people. So this is Ice Yarn's Lampkin Color. Okay. It's 95 acrylic, 5 polyester, 33 meters. Bulky number 6. Okay. Here's Ice Yarn's or Lion Brand's new that 70s yarn. Same. Same. One difference. One difference. More yardage in the Lion Brand. Not much more. I think it's like just a few more yards. But there is more yardage in this one than there is this one. There's a lot more colors of this. But they had different colors in this that Ice didn't have. So... You can tell that there is a little bit more yardage in this one. I remember looking that up as soon as someone told me that it was the same. I looked it up to see the yardage and if, if, if everything was going to be the same. Now, the color seems to be pretty close to spot on. If not spot on, it's just the yardage was smaller in the one from Ice. Not much smart, smart, smaller, though. But I like it because I like that, that 70s yarn. I could add it to that and just make something bigger. You wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. It's pretty. Lampkin. And the lampkin. Okay, this runs $7.99 for pack of four. Now, these run not on sale. $7.99 each. Remember, though, there are uh, two or three more yards, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it does make a difference when you're dealing with a big bulky yarn like this. Um, plus, you can get it on sale on uh, at Michaels and stuff, and LionBrand.com. They always have forty percent off well, a lot of the times. But in this, you have to factor in the shipping. But this very well could be still end up being cheaper. So we'll see. I like it though. I mean, it's just it's the same thing as that. So, no difference that I could see. Next up, okay. This I bought this without anybody telling me this because I think it's the exact same thing that I have over here in the corner. A new one from Lion Brand also. This is their Ice Yarns Cakes Chanel. Um, 100% acrylic, 150 meter, meters, and it is a, a four-weight yarn. Just a second. Okay, this is what I thought it was going to be. Uh, Lion Brands Ice Cream Deluxe, and it is. Same, same yarn. They have uh, a lot of colors in this one, more than what? ice yarns did as far as yardage goes um there's actually more yardage in this ice yarns than there is this one there's 142 in the lion brand 142 meters in the lion brand 150 in the chanel chanel cakes from ice yarns looks smaller but it's still which is wound tighter feels the same it looks the same this is probably made in Turkey. Made in Turkey, the ice yarns is. So it's probably the same yarn wrapped in a different label. So, uh, yeah, that one I knew would be the same by looking at it. So I got two cakes of the of that. 
They were $6.99 for two cakes. So $3.50 a piece plus the cost of shipping. Um, buying it by itself, probably not cheaper than Lion Brand. But if you compile it with a big order, definitely cheaper than Lion Brand. So I knew what that was going to be already. I could tell by the picture. Huh. Now this, I think, um, people told me about this. And this is going to be just like another one of Lion Brand's yarns. This is their Cakes Wool DK. 30% wool, 70 premium acrylic, 520 meters. That's going to be the same as Lion Brand's Woolies Cakes. So it is 520 meters. This is actually bigger. It has 540 meters. But it is the same as far as, well, this one's got 70 acrylic, 30 wool. This one's got 80 acrylic, 20 wool. So very similar colors, almost all the same. They did have colors that Lion Brand didn't have, but I probably have this exact color in another room. But yeah, so um, more yardage in here with 10% less wool, but otherwise the same. Um, yeah, when you're comparing it to brands in the, that you can, these name brands in the U.S., you always got to look at the yardage on these. I noticed some of them are short of the same, of what we have here. And then some of them have a little bit more. So you just got to check that out. So the, uh, Cakes DK Wool were $6.99 for two, so $3.50 a piece by themselves, um, having less yardage. And you was to pay $7.95 or whatever just to ship a pack. Not worth it. You can go to Walmart and get them for $5.95, I think. Um, or even a three-pack on Walmart.com for like $10. So, but buying a whole bunch made the shipping less. So, buying a big buying a big vat of yarn probably made those cheaper than lime rings. But not everybody can buy a big, huge thing of yarn. So, you just have to think about that. Um, oh, this one. I had to get this one. Highly recommended. This is supposed to be like Hobium's rock, uh, rock and roll yarn, or rock, rock and roll yarn. This is, this is ice rock star yarn. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. It is just like Hobium's, um, I knew it was because people had told me already before when I purchased from Hobium that this was the same. Very pretty. I like the way it's striped. Hobium didn't have striped ones. Not at the time. They, you know, if they ever come back, they might, but very pretty. I like it. So, um, it's a medium weight number four at 19% 19 merino, 70 polyamide, 11 acrylic. It's very soft, very fuzzy. Yeah, it's like the rock star or, or rock and roll yarn from Hobium. I like it. It's nice. I like the color. What's the yardage on them? 115 meters. And the rock star was $10 or $9.99 for an 8-pack. Plus the cost of shipping. And that's 115 meters. So, it's probably what I paid at Hobium. If I was to buy this by itself and pay the shipping they wanted for one pack, it would probably have been the same that I paid at Hobium, but... I don't know. I like it. I do. But it didn't go in my favorite pile. Because even though I did like the Hobium um, Rock and Roll yarn, there were yarns that I liked better. It's still pretty though. Very nice yarn. Don't get me wrong. I like it a lot. It's so uh, much. I don't know. Okay. I can't remember if this one was recommended or not. I had so many emails. This might have been one I just picked. I don't know. Lorena? Colorful. I think I said that right. It's pretty. It is. It's 55 cotton and 45 acrylic. 160 meters. Lightweight number three. So yes, it's a lightweight number three. It feels like a cotton acrylic. Not an extremely soft cotton acrylic. But soft, I think. Good enough to make a scarf and stuff out of. Very pretty. Colors are very, very pretty. $9.99 for eight. 
for 160 meters plus the um, shipping. I like it. It's pretty. Not my favorite one here, but it's still it's pretty. It's not as soft as I, as I figured that it would be. So, but it's still pretty. Okay, no one told me about this one, but I got it anyways. So I like it very well, not like it, I don't know. This is the Rockstar Metallic. Ice Yarns, Rockstar Metallic. It is like the Rockstar yarn, but fuzzy and metallic-y. Very soft, very pretty. It's pretty. It's uh, 25 wool, 30 acrylic, 30 polyester, 15% metallic. 100 meters, medium weight number four. Very, It's very pretty. It's going to be very hard, though, if you make a mistake to pull that out. I don't mind that, though, if it's pretty yarn. It's very soft, too. It's pretty. I like it. I do. It's not going to go in, like, the, my top favorite pile, but I do like it. And the Rockstar Metallic was more than the regular Rockstar. It's $11.99 for an 8-pack. Plus the shipping price. It's a nice yarn, though. I'm not going to lie about it. It's a nice yarn. So far, so good. Only a couple that I probably wouldn't... It's a few I wouldn't buy again. But so far, so good. What are you doing down there, Mabel? My kitty's down there. What you doing? New yarn? Is that what you see? This is Mabel. She was our stray kitty I found in my bushes. Isn't she getting big? She getting so big. She loves my yarn room. Go on. She's silly. Okay. I'm going to move on. So this one I had before. Uh, I bought before. And it was my favorite ice yarn that I had ever purchased. Um, considering I didn't like any of the ones that I purchased. That wasn't saying a lot. But. I really did like this. I did end up giving it away in a giveaway, so I never got to use it, but that is very, very pretty yarn. That is my colors. This came highly recommended by a lot of people. This is their Mystique yarn. I don't know if they recommended them because they liked them or if they recommended it because they thought I would like them or maybe it was just a little bit of both. But um, this is the Mystique. It is a bulky number 5, 25 wool, 75 acrylic, 160 meters. Again, it's very nice, very similar, kind of uh, like a scarfy yarn, roving type um, yarn. Very pretty. I really like it. This is the exact same color I got last time, and I ended up giving it away. And I remember giving it away in a giveaway thinking I shouldn't have gave that away because it was really one of my favorite ice yarns that I ever had my hands on. But now I have it again. It's pretty. Is that pretty? Mystique. Now, the Mystique runs. Um, you guys, feel free to turn me off because I bought such a huge box of yarn because it was cheaper that way. These run, um, $8.99 for four. So. I like it. I do like it. But like I said, I had this exact same one before. And I knew I was going to like that one. So that's going to go down here in my favorite pile. Because I already knew that. And I got it in another color. Mabel. Get out of here. She's like yarn. She loves yarn more than any of my other cats. She's a yarn fanatic like me. I got it in another color. This is the same thing of the Mystique. I don't even see where it says the color number, or I would be telling you. But. <laughs> but that one's really pretty too. I like the brown one better, but this green is very pretty. It's very similar to Scarfy. Almost. Almost. Mmm. I like it a lot. You do. This is just called Mystique um, Turquoise Khaki and Green. That's what the color is. I see all those colors in there. And the other, the other one that I showed you was green and brown. That's what it says on my order. So, go down here with the I Like It yarns. 
Okay, now this one is supposed to be, someone told, actually a lot of people told me this was identical to Scarpy. Let's check it out and see. Ryan Brand Scarpy. It appears to be pretty close to it by looking at it. So this is their Fantasia yarn. And it is a medium weight number four, 190 meters, 25% wool, 75% acrylic. It feels like Scarfy. It looks like Scarfy. <clears throat> now, I can tell you that Scarfy has some more yardage than that. Um, so, um, fiber content is almost the uh, almost identical. Um, yardage is not identical. This only has 190 meters. This has 285, so almost 100 more meters. Um, that's meters, so that would be even more in yards in the Scarfy. Um, but otherwise, they seem to be the exact same. It's a. I knew though that it was smaller. I looked it up when I was looking at it online. Um, I knew it had less yardage than Scarfy. So you have to take that in account that this has almost 100 more meters in it when you're going to go price comparison. I can buy these at Walmart for $5.95 or $5.94. Um, and these, uh, so these run $7.99 for four. So it's $2 a piece for four. Buying them separate or just buying them by themselves and having to pay that $7.95 initial shipping. Um, it's not worth it considering I go to Walmart, I said, and buy Scarfy for $5.96 or whatever it is. And it's got 100 more yards. Buying it as a big hole like this makes it worth it. So, but that's a pretty color. They had a lot of colors in it that Scarfy didn't have. I like that. A lot of them were sold out though. Um, I didn't get, I, I didn't really get to pick out a whole bunch of colors of it, but um, yeah, that's pretty. Um, unless I'm doing a big eye show on purchase again, I don't know if I will, unless I do, I, I, I might again. One day when I save up my money, I'll, I'll stick with Scarfy for now because that is very short on the yardage. Um, oh, I got it in another color too. This is the same one. Fantasia. Same thing. Pretty color. I like brown though. But remember, like I said, since I bought so much, it made it worth it. It made it cheaper than uh, Scarfy. But if I didn't buy that much, it's, it wouldn't be cheaper. Especially with the shortage of yardage. But identical to Scarfy. Very pretty. I like it. I love Scarfy. Scarfy is one of my favorite yarns. It's in my top five favorite yarns. So I'm just going to go up here. Um, okay. This is supposed to be like the Red Heart, Red Heart Super Saver, I think. This is the Saver 100. Um, four of them for $374. Feels like Red Heart Super Saver to me. Maybe a touch softer, not much in my opinion. Um, so there are 175 meters, medium weight number four, 100% acrylic. Watch me, all my yarn falling down. I'm just, I'm just trying to grab a, a super saver to show you. Here we go. Okay, I'm just trying to get the yardage off a super saver. I can't remember how much yardage is on super saver. Uh, I know it's 300. Okay, 333 meters versus 175 meters. Uh, so double almost the size of a red heart super saver. They almost feel the same to me, in my opinion. Some people were telling me it was softer. Maybe if it is, it's just, to me, I, it's just my opinion though. To me, it's not like extremely noticeable it's softer, but it is a little bit softer. But like I said, it's 374 for, for, for four of them. It's cheap, less, less yardage, but it's still pretty cheap yarn. It's not a bad yarn uh, if you buy a bunch at a time, make a big order. So yeah, that's comparable to Red Heart Super Saver. Maybe a little bit softer, but a lot less yardage. Let's see. 
You guys are probably like, when are you going to be done? I'm sorry. This video is taking forever. This is... Yeah, someone told me about this one too. Wool Tweed Super Bulky. It's a bulky six, 120 meters. 25 wool, 72 acrylic, 3% viscose. It's nice. I like it. So this reminds me of Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Only thicker and not as soft. Still soft though. I mean, you can make a scarf out of it. But the, I love this yarn. Is a four, this is a four weight though. It's, it's, it's a lot softer than this one. But this is still very pretty. I like tweed yarns like this. I'm not saying nothing bad about it. I like it. Wool Tweed Super Bulky. And there's four in a pack. So this ran $7.99 for four. So like two bucks a piece. And then you factor in the shipping. It's nice. That's pretty. I buy it again. I think I like yarns like this to make hats and scarves out of. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it at all. So I'm going to put that up here. I don't have that many more left. Okay, so I got, let's see. This is ripped open. Rainbow. Which was highly recommended to me. Saying it was like Red Heart. Unforgettable. Which is my favorite. And it is. It's like Red Heart Unforgettable. It reminds me of that Prima Donna that I showed you in the beginning. Very pretty. Um, rainbow. And there are 240 meters, 100% acrylic, lightweight number three. So, yes, it's very similar to Unforgettable. Which is probably about the same. 146 meters. What did I say this was? Or 240 meters. 246 meters. This is 240. So it's just, it's a little bit yardage less. Pretty colors in that one. I think I have this color in Unforgettable. I think it's a new color. So that's comparable to Unforgettable. Very soft, very pretty. And I got the, the same one in this color. So yes, but it is a lighter weight yarn than Unforgettable. It's Unforgettable is a little bit thicker. It's classified as a three. Unforgettable is a four. And I say that is a three. So this is their rainbow yarn. Both of these are. Very pretty. I do like them. Very much remind me of Unforgettable. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room. Okay, now this one was recommended to you. But I would like this is Elena Bella. 30% wool, 70 acrylic, 250 meters. Lightweight number three. Very pretty. Very pretty yarn. It's like unforgettable with the wool in it. That's a very pretty color too. Um, it says it's a lightweight three. It's a roving, so it's going to go from, looks like it goes from three to four. That's beautiful. I like that one a lot. Mm hmm You like it too, Mabel? Is that why you're meowing? Mabel likes it. Okay, so this runs $10 for four skeins. So $2.50 a skein. By itself, it's you know, like I said, adding that shipping, it's probably not worth it. Together, definitely, if you buy a big bundle, that is very, very pretty yarn. I like that. I'm probably going to put that down here with my favorites so far. I like that one. That one's the Lena Bella. I'm almost done here. Okay, so this one I've had before. This is the Prima Donna. No, no, no. This is the Magic Glitz. Um, it came recommended by everybody. 95 acrylic, 5% uh, metallic, 360 meters. It's a very generous amount. Um, and it is a lightweight 3, probably between a 3 and a 4. It feels like an average acrylic, you know, like Red Heart with Love or something. But with Red Heart with Love metallic is what it reminds me of. Except for it, it's, it is uh, very pretty colors. So, Magic Glitz, 
Like I said, though, I've had this one before. I already knew about it. $7.99 for a four-pack. That's that's a nice price, considering the yardage in it. It's, it's pretty nice. But it does remind me of other yarns that I've seen before in the market. Okay, I just have a couple more left. This is Cakes Glitz. These are $6.99 for two of them, so $3.50 a piece. Um, they are 540 yards, which I'm going to assume is probably about, or 540 meters, which is probably about 590 yards. 95 acrylic, probably close to that, I'm not certain. Something like that. Um, 5% lux, lightweight 3. So this would be like mandala with sparkle in it. Or maybe it could be like that red heart new red heart sparkle they got going on i don't i ordered some of that but i don't have any of that here yet to compare it but it's pretty yeah so 6.99 is that what i said for two of them lightweight three yeah it's like mandala sparkle i guess a lot more yardage than regular Mandela Sparkle. You know, they have less yardage, but still a little about the same. So two of those. This one was very highly recommended. Baby Magic. I can see why. It's very, very soft. Baby Magic. That's, that's a nice soft yarn. So this is 100% baby acrylic, 360 meters. It's a lot of yardage to lightweight too. It's like a three weight though. Mm -hmm. That's that's soft. That's soft. People were telling me that it was soft. They were not lying. Baby Magic runs $6.99 for four of them. Um, this one's called Neon Pink. That's quite a bit of yardage. That's probably a decent price if you buy it, you know, buy a bunch at a time. That's nice. I like that one. It reminds me of some I got from Hobium. Whenever Hobium was in business. Man, I miss Hobium. Okay, I got one more left. I don't think anybody recommended this one. They might, yes, yes, they did. They did. But I saw it on there also before the recommendations. Oh, my messy room. And I wanted to get it. So. Thought it looked pretty, but looks can be deceiving. You all know that. Oh my. This is Ice Yarns Universe. Isn't that pretty? Feels like the rock star yarn. That's pretty. Um, they had a lot of different colors in this. If I can remember right. 19 wool, 11 acrylic, 70% 70, 70 polyamide. There are 230 meters per ball and it's classified as a medium 4. Which it is a medium 4. It is chain spun. And it will be very hard to, I can tell by all the fuzzies, if you mess up. It's like the Rockstar, similar to the Rockstar in my opinion. It looks like it. Those colors. I like this one a lot. This is going to go in my I like it a lot pile. I like it a lot. <laughs> so this is my last one. And it is $11.99 for four of them. For 230 meters. Okay, so that was my ice yarn haul. That was it. It was a lot. I made a big order because I found the more you ordered, the less it charged you per pack per shipping. So that's what I did. And so my favorites, I like, I think there was, I liked most of them. There was a couple, you know, I wasn't huge fans of, you know, um, that I probably wouldn't buy again. I probably told you in the video. Um, this one, I'll probably just stick with Lion Brands. Um, and I'll probably stick with regular Mandela as opposed to them other ones. Um, 
I like this rainbow, and if I do a big order, I would probably buy it again, but otherwise I'm going to stick with Unforgettable because it's thicker. This, I wasn't, this was pretty, but I think it was kind of, the silk cotton, I really wasn't a, a fan of the way it was spun. Um, this one I liked. It's really pretty colors and everything, but for an a cotton acrylic blend, I thought it should have been a little softer. Um, but most of it, you know, I liked um, good value, I guess. Some of it was, you know, comparable to what we got. But my favorites, my all, oh, this Rosetta is gorgeous. That has to be one of my top favorites. That is a beautiful. If you like yarns like Scarfy yarn, that's for you. And then I love the um, Mystique, which I already knew because I had it. And I told you I gave it away. And then I was mad because I gave, I wasn't mad. I was just like, dang, I shouldn't have gave that away. This is very pretty. Elena Bella. Very pretty. Lots of pretty colors in that. And then I really liked the, um, what was this one here? I really liked the uh, Madonna, regular Madonna. It had the uh, wool and the mohair in it. Very pretty. And then I really liked the Picasso a lot too. So those were probably my favorites. Okay, so ending thoughts thanks for sticking around with me for this long i think that this ice yarns was definitely my favorite i got but i owe it all to you guys because you guys told me what to buy because i still can't navigate that site worth the crap but that's just me i guess i just can't i don't know i can't do it but thank you everybody who sent me an email i i do like most of it this time i'm, I'm happy with my purchase this time i am i'm happy with it so um I already figured up the shipping and how many skeins I got. Um, so what I pay for shipping and what I pay for the yarn and how many skeins I got in total, my average was $2.25 a skein. So that made almost every skein worth the price. But if I would have bought less it would have been you know it wouldn't have really been worth it because the shipping um become like i said it becomes less per pack the more you add so um was this worth two dollars and 25 cents the red heart or the the saver 100 for 175 meters not really no it wasn't um but i made up for it by i think getting this for two dollars and 25 cents the rosetta i would have and the ones that look like Scarfy are probably worth $2.25, even though they have less yardage because they're identical. Um, the Mandala Cakes now, those are worth $2.25. Mandala Sparkles worth $2.25. So averaging it out, yeah, it was, you know, probably all worth what I got. I'm, I'm happy with it. This would be worth uh, the $2.25, considering I paid $7.99 for, <laughs> for an online brand. But I had to do a big, big order to make it equal that, if you know what I mean. Um, I could be wrong. You could tell me all about your ICRN's experience in the description box. But I can say this time, I'm very happy. I'm happy with my ICRN's. I like it all. I like most of it. Most of it. I like it all. But there are some, like I said, that I won't buy again. But thank you all, though, for your suggestions. I could never have done it without you. And, you know, since Hobium's out of business... Um, it's hard to find places that sell yarn like Angora and Alpaca and Silk and Mix yarns. And, you know, I might be shopping at Ice Yarns again with your help, of course. I'll have to have your help again. But uh, thanks, everybody, for sticking with me through this long video. I'm happy. Third time was a charm. I had a feeling I, would be, I wouldn't be disappointed. And I'm, re I'm really not disappointed. I'm really not at all. Oh, and this one was one of my favorites. I forgot. The universe. Very, very pretty. But I don't think any of them top this Rosetta. Rosetta Worsted. It's gorgeous. But remember, you gotta like wool. And you gotta like yarns like, roving yarns like Scarfy that go from thick to thin. Or you won't like that. But So, 
I guess be looking for some more Ice Yarns unboxing after I talk to all you guys again, of course, and tell me some different ones to get. But I had a good time this time. I'm not unhappy. Thank you, Ice Yarns. Um, um, you, I mean, you didn't send me this for free. I bought it all, but um, thank you for having some nice yarns um, that I just wasn't able to find before. That's my fault. <clears throat> But you do have some on there. It's your site's just extremely overwhelming for me. And I have to have help navigating it by my helpful YouTube friends. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody for watching.